Hey my friends, this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works and I'm your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Today's question. Satisfied. What does it mean? Are you satisfied with your journey? What does being satisfied mean to you? When did you become satisfied with your journey? What would you say to a fellow weight loss surgery peep who is not satisfied and feels like they never will be? <clears throat> Um, let's see. I went ahead and, of course, took uh, the dictionary out and decided to say, give you a, the definition. And the definition is, if you are satisfied with something, you are pleased with it because it is what you wanted. Uh, filled with satisfaction, content, a very satisfied customer, paid or discharged in full as a debt or obligation, convinced beyond doubt. Then uh, it gives me the adjective to be content, happy, fulfilled, uh, appeased, gratified, pacified, pleased, uh, contented. The opposite of satisfaction would be disappointed. And that's what I want to talk about. I don't really want to talk about being satisfied, but being what I'm not. I always turn the tables, don't I? <laughs> so I decided to talk about what I'm, what I'm not. I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm not distressed. I'm not discouraged. I'm not depressed. I'm not choked. I'm not delusioned or discontented, let down, dejected, disheartened, disgranted, dissatisfied, downcast, saddened, disenchanted, disappointed, downhearted, cast down, But I am pleased with myself. I'm very pleased. And you might say, well, that wasn't the question, Rosemary. You're to tell us what is satisfied. What, what is, how, how have you been satisfied? And, you know, guys, I think that if you've learned anything from me, you've learned that I take the good with the bad and I mix it all up in my little mixer in my head and I serve it as gratitude, as thankfulness. I do. I do. My, lo my road, my path that I took has been long, hard, and when I finally found this body and what and all that it could do I chose to be satisfied with it to say that today I will do even better today I will wake up and say how many miles is it gonna be today and if I make it to to whatever I'm gonna be happy with it Whatever. Because I'm not trying to race with anybody but me. This body. My sister and I go out and I'll say, let's do a little bit more so we, we can complete the, 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 the nine mile mark or the, or the seven mile mark because it shows, you know, as I'm walking, as I'm getting home. And, you know... I'm very happy to hear my sister say, but we did good. Yes, we've done well. We've done good. It's how you feel. How satisfied can you be? You know, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious, 
dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient for for he that is so wants nothing. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our hearts, within our reach. A wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be, without wishing for what he has not. <laughs> you know, and that can go many ways. It can even go with the fact that all the things that I didn't have and now that I have, you know, I am content. That's another uh, explanation for what is satisfied. You know, contentment. Yes, I have always, I've always said I want more for my body. That's why I do what I do. You know, but I'm satisfied knowing that there is no perfection and that I am me. This body is built this way. Uh, I had someone write to me and ask me, you must be losing weight like crazy because you're doing all those miles. You must be, uh, what are you eating? And so I, I, I showed the next day, I took a picture of everything I ate. And I showed, it doesn't mean that I'm going to get skinny, you know, but it does mean that I'm healthy and that I'm better for it. That makes me content, knowing that I'm going to continue to walk. Because the older you get, a lot of, you lose a lot of things. If you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> so my friends, I don't know if I've made a lot of sense in this video. But if I have, let me know. And what I say is to be content, to be happy with yourselves. You know, true happiness is to enjoy the present. What are you doing with it right now? Even if you've had a hard day's work and all you want to do is sleep, are you content with the sleep that you had, that you gave yourself, the rest that you gave yourself? That's what I'm saying. Nothing more. I'm not adding, you know, I'm just letting you see the importance of being satisfied. You can always want more and be grateful and be thankful. So, are you satisfied with your journey? What does being satisfied mean to you? What did you become satisfied? When did you become satisfied with your journey? What would you say to a fellow weight loss surgery peep? And I think that's the end of the questions. I think I answered them all. I love you guys. And the best thing that I would tell you is if you are not satisfied with your journey, you can be. Make that happen for you. Don't go by what anybody else is doing or saying. Because some people, I've heard, uh, well, I've not heard, but I've, you know, read people that write to me and say, but Rosemary, I don't like walking. Then it's not for you. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy walking. Don't do it. Find something that, that makes you happy. Uh, but I don't like doing any of it. Then that's you. You know, then you, you make sure you make good choices for your, for your weight loss surgery, whatever you had. So what I'm saying also is that I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset. I'm not distressed. I'm not discouraged. I'm not depressed. I'm not disillusioned, discontented. I'm not let down. <laughs> so I am contented. I am happy. I am fulfilled. I am grat grateful, gratified, pleased, and satisfied. Thank you for watching today. I love you guys. Go out and be the best you that you know how to be and forget about the rest. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. I love you.